Well, regarding Jacques, as you know, his uh, initial hamstring strain over the last 48 hours under the able hands of our physiotherapist he had responded very well, so much so that he was almost symptom-free. We knew he would always be able to bat. The challenge was what's going to happen when he runs. So uh, it's, it's, it's safe to say that he's probably aggravated his injury by running and batting. Uh, he's still probably going to have to bat the second innings. Uh, if that happens, uh, there's no guarantee he'll be fit and ready for the next test with a three-day turnaround. So having said that, Cricket South Africa Selection Committee back home are looking into possibly sending out somebody as cover, but they haven't made a decision as yet. And Vern? Vern's responding well. He should be available for selection come Perth. So no cover for Perth? No, he's fine. Second innings? No, he will bat in the second innings, yeah. but it's unlikely he'll respond in time to be fit to take his place in the Perth Test match because of the quick turnaround. So the selectors are considering who to send over as cover. Doctor, when Jacques batted with the side strain in India, uh, against India, you said it was like he was being stabbed in the ribs. What yeah. type of pain is it? The side strain was slightly different because at that time we infiltrated the area with anesthetic just to numb it while he batted. Uh, and it sort of worked because you got a double hundred. The difference with the, the thighs, the hamstring strain or the, the, the glute area is that it's very difficult to strap. So every time he stretches forward or he ducks under a bouncer or takes off or stretches or lunges forward, he's straining that area particularly.